The economic community of West African states says confidence in products exported from the region to the European market is extremely low. This followed a total of 24 notifications issued on products exported from the ECOWAS region in the last two years. Between June 2016 and October 2018, Speaking to Clairview TV at the just concluded capacity building workshop in Abidjan on a new policy to ensure high quality of products, Chief Technical Advisor of the West Africa Quality System Program, Aka Kausi, says the trend is hindering trade growth in the region. Anyete Patrick completes the story. According to the organization, it received notifications from international bodies, including the European Union and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization questioning the level of quality of products, which includes agricultural products such as cocoa, beans, chemical products, body creams, building and construction materials such as cement and iron rods. To this end, the organization has established a regional quality policy to facilitate trade within the region. COASI says, the move is also to protect consumers and ensure the African continent will no longer be considered a dumping ground for fake and substandard products. When the national certification body has been mandated at ECOWAS level to deliver this mark, the someone who wants to export in the region, one enterprise has to go to the certification body which has been mandated at national level and uh, after, your request, uh, after your request to have this certification mark, the certification body in the country will go to your enterprise, make investigation, and check, collect the, the product, send your product to the laboratory, uh, make uh, all the analysis, and also check your system of uh, manufacturing this product. President of Regional System Accreditation says the overall objective of the West African Quality System Program is for the countries to recognize quality control and conformity assessment as the focus to ensure trade through laboratory testing, capacity building and training of people on food management safety. Like you said, yes, we have an uh, accreditation body up and running now. But uh, the value of accreditation uh, is only ripped if all the quality infrastructure is working. They are working perfectly, which now includes our standard body, our meteorology uh, institute, and then finally the accreditation. So these are three pillars that provide services to the conformity assessment system we have. So number one, um, our standard body needs to set proper standards that protects health and, and ensures quality. And number two, we need to be using the meteorological instruments that are calibrated. That means we need to have calibration labs that are accredited. And then finally, we need to have accreditation body to attest that those labs, certification bodies, inspection bodies, they are doing the right thing. It's a holistic process, a system where the quality becomes a lifestyle. That's what we put in place in Nigeria, but everyone needs to play their role and play selflessly. The organizers are charging member countries to intensify education and sensitization efforts to create awareness and sensitize citizens on the need for quality. Anietie Patrick, reporting for Clairview Television in Abidjan.